Welcome. All right, so in this problem, what I have is the 0 square root of 3 and 0. And what I want to do in this case is go ahead and uh, determine the polynomial that is going to, or determine the, the polynomial that will be produced when I have these as my zeros. Now, remember, whenever we have the square root as a 0, we need to make sure we include our complex conjugate, which would be negative square root of 3. Now, I, the next step, what I'm going to do is take all of my zeros and set them equal to 0, because that's where they kind of came from. x equals the square root of 3 x equals 0. And actually, let's do the x equals negative square root of 3. All right, Because remember, x equals these zeros. This is where these zeros are where the graph crosses or um, touches our x-axis. So the, these are the values that x is equal to for this polynomial that we need to figure out. Now, to find that polynomial, once we know these values, we now want to be able to see, all right, to find this polynomial, we're going to have to multiply some factors. So we're going to want to write these as factors. And remember, to write them as factors, we need to say, well, where did they come? They came from our factors. And the reason they came from our factors is because we had our factors set equal to 0. So I'm going to need to now set these equal to 0. So therefore, I have x plus the square root of 3 equals 0, minus the square root of 3, minus the square root of 3. x minus the square root of 3 equals 0. And then x equals 0. Now that I have each one of these factors equal to 0, I can kind of go back to my 0 product property and say, well, the reason why we set each of these factors equal to 0 is because we use the 0 product property, which states if you have a factor multiplied by another factor multiplied by another factor, and that's equal to 0, you could break it apart and solve. But we're not trying to multiply these to get to our 0 product property. We're trying to multiply these so that we can determine our polynomial. So now what I need to do is multiply each one of these factors to determine this polynomial. So to do that, I'm just going to kind of multiply these. Um, well, what, what one thing we notice, which is a nice shortcut when dealing with uh, conjugates, is when you have a number multiplied by its conjugate, you can multiply these kind of producing the difference of two squares. Therefore, this is going to produce x squared minus the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is going to be the square root of 3 squared, which would just be 3. But it's a positive times a negative, so it's going to be a negative. Uh, 3. Yes, and then that is going to produce then times x equals f of x. Now I can distribute this x, so therefore my final polynomial is going to be f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine your polynomial when given a radical and 0 as your zeros. Thanks.